yo yo what is going on guys it's niz back once again for another episode of taking borough to the top um i've got four games for you today which we'll just be doing the goals of um i have already played them but we didn't actually lose a single game um in these four games thankfully we did technically have a draw against reading in the Carabao Cup third round and look as you can see we have drawn Liverpool for the fourth um, but I'll get straight into the highlights and we can watch how everything panned out so I'm going to drop that back down to medium and watch the goals so just generating our match report now we can start out with a Roberts run straight up that right hand side does one player does another cuts in left foot beautiful goal bottom corner i think roberts could actually be the make sh the, the biggest signing we actually make fry with a second goal there big header assisted by wing and then i think wing chips in yeah with the free kick there fantastic all three players fully running on incredible incredible stats at the moment and with that, I think Puskas appeared against um, against England uh, when we when did we last play Romania? Was it Romania? Yeah. Well, I've played against us at some point, but that's completely by the by. Um, so our next game was us against Cardiff who at the time were 19th I don't know where they are now 16th um, they were 19th in the table at that period of time but we ended up running with a 5-1 victory against them um, we'll watch all the goals here it did start out as you can see with the fantastic two goals from Patrick Roberts, once again, that's gone straight to the fastest. And if we just play again, it was Roberts cutting in on his, uh, on his left. Again, these inside forwards are truly fantastic. But we'll go back to that first one just so you can see how, how it... Ooh, this isn't what we wanted to do. Anyway, dropped to, to Roberts on, on that right wing, cut in, dropped another goal straight in. Fantastic little player we've got in Roberts. I know he's only on loan from City, but we'd like to make it permanent. Dyke Steel with a defence splitter to Fletcher. Fletcher straight in. Roberts with a volley. Fantastic. Not sure what his celebration is here. Arms everywhere. I think Roberts turns provider for this one. Or is it some longer? No. Paddy McNair, another goal. We've got another Patrick Hattrick on the way. I didn't realise Albert Adoma played for Cardiff. He used to play for Borough. Murphy, poor of us to not defend that. Um, but I think other than that, that was the only clean sheet we didn't keep. Now Roberts, once again, on a mad run. Literally defence splitter and what I'd, I'd say is 30 yards out, 25 yards out. Fantastic. A sombre longer. Drops it for Roberts. Roberts cuts inside, oh he doesn't, just a quick cross into Samba Longa's feet, beautiful. That was our our next game and this does go to penalties at the Riverside. Um, let's have a view of this, I think uh, we can only watch the key highlights. Um, yeah, can will it show us the actual the actual uh, penalty shootout, I have no idea. Yeah, it does. So, some longer stepped up for us. Swift for them. I'll get this over as quick as possible. You all know what penalty shootout looks like. McNair. Lucas. Big save from Stojanovic. Abita. No messing about against his former club. Puskas. Misses. And Stojanovic, in reality... The hero of that, two two bits of absolutely absolute goalkeeping masterclass. 
and ended up putting us well on our way to, to a, a beautiful link up against Liverpool who will undoubtedly get steamrolled by. Now this one was a was a bit of a different one with a surprising lack of oh wait no Roberts did get an assist I'd, I'd not realised when I played it. So watch these goals and that should be the end of the video. Uh, we've not actually done anything really um we could do with finding a few players. Now that needed to go back to, to medium. Once again, least professional YouTuber there is. Right, let's get back. So Dark Steel, who ended up throwing it to Reach, who dropped to Tavernier, Tavernier to Fletcher, and Fletcher comfortably slots it away. A somber longer penalty. Yeah, casual, you know how he does, he's a fantastic player. McNair, into Roberts, Roberts who's, who's just fantastic, I do want to make him a permanent signing. And Ashley Fletcher, being, being the goal scorer there, beautiful. Fantastic from all of the games. Um, I haven't actually done anything, we've still got Matthew Bonswell coming in. Um, have, having a look at the side, we've got... Two Spaniards, Thomas Mahias, who is is definitely not even remotely going to, to end up being with us permanently, I don't think. Um, he was on loan at Borough, he came to us on a free. Then he went to Vallecano on loan. Then he was back with us, went on a free to Cyprus. He actually only played one game, seven games. And now he's back with us. He's still not getting a game. I do think I'll get rid of Mahias. However, Ayala, because I think he's got... Has he got the English second nationality? No, he doesn't see a benefit in it, unfortunately. Ideally, because he counts as homegrown, I think I will still count him. Now, Will Smallbone only on loan. Um, he, is, he has got the English second nationality, so that's fine by me. Paddy McNair, I think, does also have the English second nationality. No, he doesn't. That's an odd one, because surely, surely he's been in England for that long he can... But I suppose he does count as homegrown because he's, he was in that. Maybe what we'll actually do, is opposed to, as opposed to how I, I was saying earlier, it would just be... Um, We'd be uh, an entire English team. Maybe it'll just be the home nation, so we can have Scottish, Irish, Welsh, uh, Northern Irish, and English in in the side. Then um, it does make it a bit more flowed. Um, now George Savile does have the English trait. Um, oh, sorry, English second nationality. Stojanovic. No Austrian, so we will have to get rid of him. Dyke Steel. I'm very I'm very hard done to get rid of him, but he could he could still oh, for some reason it's saying four hundred and thirty nine days must return within ten days, but he's in England now, so I don't understand that one. Might be a glitch there. Nemecha is actually uh, he does have English, Nigerian and German, so we will keep him. Um the rest of the squad are English, aside from Makudi who's on loan, so he'll go back to to Schalke, I think he's on loan from. ASN Etienne and Brit Sombalonga does also have English as well. So we've got a pretty solid squad. All of them nearly are still within the, the English reach of what we're trying to, to keep, but we'll extend it to the home nations now. And that way, at least we're going to have a bit of variety in our sides. Um, but yeah, that is everything for today guys i hope you've all enjoyed this i uh, know i have if you have watched it fantastic thank you for watching peace